Okay, in this video I'm going to talk about the left hand rule. The left hand rule allows you to work out the direction of a vector cross product. So the cross product is an extension of multiplication to vectors. So if you multiply two numbers A and B or say 5 and 4 you'll get a number or a scalar which in this case would be 20 so the magnitude of the number the magnitude of A multiplied by B is 20. Now if A and B are vectors you need both a magnitude and a direction. So the left hand rule will help you work out the direction whereas you can work out the magnitude yourself. Uh, okay so first of all this expression here that's what a cross product looks like for, ve for vectors. So here you read this as A cross B is equal to C. Notice them are all, they all are vectors so any of these three, th these three symbols indicate that this is a vector and you don't need all three but just pick one so the arrow on top, the line underneath or the squiggle line underneath. A cross B is equal to C is the same as A multiplied by B is equal to C but these are all vectors. Now the reason you must do a cross product is that a vector needs a magnitude and a direction so the cross product will allow you to work out the direction. Now what direction is it? What direction? Where is C facing? Well C in this case the resultant of A cross B is perpendicular to the plane of A and B. Now that might sound difficult. I'm, I, if you're not really used to maths, that sounds that sounds like a big deal, but it's not really. If you can imagine here, if you can imagine that this line here represents A, this line here represents B. Together, they make a plane. Okay, they make a plane in space. So if you can imagine a table, your table is a flat area. Okay, so it's it's a plane. It's a plane in space. You could imagine one side of your table being the vector a, the other side of your table being, or the uh, the the other direction of your table being vector b, and together your table is the plane of a b. So this is similar. If you can imagine this this red square here is a table, you had one side a, another side b. Together they make out a plane. If you were to extend the vectors out to infinity, they make a plane, and that is the plane of a b. So, the vector C is perpendicular to the plane of AB, whereby C is the cross product of AB. So, A cross B, that's always perpendicular to the plane of AB. So here, this black arrow here is representing A cross B. And if you notice, it's perpendicular to the plane here, but in going, in going vertical as you look at it. But also, uh, let's say vertically downwards, okay, that's also perpendicular to AB. So the thing is that C is perpendicular to the plane of AB is true, but we'll say in this case up and down are both perpendicular. So which way is, is your vector facing? Well, you need to use your left hand rule to work that out. Now, the left hand rule, uh, you might have heard, the, uh, heard of the right hand rule, sorry. The, the, the left and right hand rule are the same in terms of they will give you the same result. But the left hand rule is not just the right hand rule done on your left hand. They're, they're slightly different. So what I'm going to do here is just quickly show you this now. Excuse my advert for shoot past deals. So, okay, here's my hand, right? Clearly that's my hand, but you use your hands to work it out. So I'm using my left hand at the moment. So the way it works is your index finger will be the, the first, your first, uh, your first vector. So in this case, it will be A. Your thumb will be the second vector, B. So together, you have A cross B. And the resultant vector, C, is your middle finger here. So the way you work it is you line up your index finger with the first vector, your thumb with the second vector, and that see that, that actually makes a plane, you can kind of see that makes a plane extending into space, and C is perpendicular to it. However, now so if you can see the plane of AB, C here is perpendicular to that plane, but it's a direction. In other words, this direction upwards is also perpendicular to the plane, but it's got a different direction, so it doesn't actually work. So let's see if we can we can uh, we can make this clear by an example. So you have the vectors a, b. So a cross b will be done as follows: if a cross b is equal to c. So c in this case is extending perpendicular to the sheet of the, the, the sheet of paper here. It's going that way. Okay. Or this vector here, or this this cross product here of a cross b. A cross B is equal to C. So C in this case will be 
uh, would be perpendicular to the sheet of the paper but into the page whereas this one is coming out of the page so you might say that uh, that the, the magnitude or not the, the direction of C in this case and this case are not the same both are going perpendicular to the page but one is going into it and one is coming out and therefore they're not the same and that is how you, how you do the, the left hand rule for vectors